Let's move on to the next question. The diagram shows a rectangle A, B, C, D. The point A is 2, 4. The point B is minus 2, 8. And C lies on the x-axis, Okay, as we can see here. Now part 1, find the equation of BC. BC is this one. Now again, we understand BC is a straight line. To find the equation of a straight line, we must first find the gradient of BC. So, how would you find the gradient of BC? Now, by observation, we can see that the line AB is perpendicular to the line BC. So we can use the gradient of AB to find that of BC. So AB first, that will be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 14 minus 8, that should be uh, 6 divided by 4, that should be 3 over 2. Now from this derive, we can derive the gradient of BC, and that should be minus 2 over 3. Because whenever we have two lines which are perpendicular to each other, as you can see here, right, perpendicular, we can understand that the relationship should be gradient of AB multiplied by the gradient of BC gives you the value of minus 1. So because of that relationship, if you find one of them, you can derive the other one. Now, we have the gradient, we have the passing point B, we can find the equation of BC. So the passing point is minus 2, 8. That is the x value and the y value. So y minus its corresponding value over x minus minus 2 will be plus 2 is equal to the gradient. Again, this is just a method that I use to find the equation of a straight line. If you have another method, you can always use yours, obviously. Now cross multiply. Let's see what do we have. You will have 3y minus 24 minus 2x minus 4. 3y equals to minus 2x minus 4 plus 24. 3y equals to minus 2x plus 20. And that will be the equation of, of BC. That is part 1 of the question. Now for part 2, the coordinates of uh, C and D, we have to find those two points. So first point, pretty easy, find the point of C. Now, as always, at the x-axis, what do we know? The value of y must be 0. Replace in the equation of BC, you will have 0 here, and minus 2x plus 20. x will be the value of 10. So the point C will be 10, 0. Now we have to find the point D. How would you find the point D? Okay, so there's actually a few ways. Um, I guess we can use depends what we can what we want to use here so we can draw so we can actually let me go the usual way that is what we usually do anyways so when we, when, when we want to find a point that we have on this diagram as you can see it is a point of intersection of the line CD and the line AB right we can see that now again so to find that, we must first find the equation of CD and the equation of AD. So this is a point of intersection. But that is one way of doing that. But the easiest way is actually uh, we can just move. Uh, because it is a rectangle, we understand that these two sides must be in the same direction. And this side is in the same direction as this. So. What can we conclude? The, for example, let me explain. From B, for me to move to C, it's the same thing from, if I move from A to D. So for example, if I were to move, let me draw this here. It's basically a vector displacement. So, mark this and mark that, right? So from B, going to C, I have to first move, so from minus 2, we have to move 12 squares, 12 places to go to 10, that is 10, right? And we have to move 8 minus 8 downwards, so the displacement will be 12 minus 8, if that makes sense. Now, because obviously they are in the same direction, as you can see here, it will be the same kind of displacement if I were to move from the point 
A going to 2D right so you can see we can uh, use what here we have again 12 and minus 8 from the point to 14 we have to move so plus 12 right plus 12 minus 8 let's see what do we get that should be 14 14 minus 8 that should be what let's check 14 minus 8 that should be 6 so the point D will be 14, 6. But again, that is only one method of doing that. Again, this is not, uh, usually I would not go this way because I do not want to confuse people. But I hope that is simple as well because it's very easy to use this method because we know these two sides have to be in the same direction, this as well, so we can use vector displacement. Again, the first method also is very easy. The point D is a point of intersection between CD and AD. We can just find those two equations and solve them simultaneously. It is up to you. The point C is this. The point D will be 14, 6. Okay.